Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the footy show. All right. We're back. We are back to chat. Marco Silva became the ninth manager, I think, to lose his job in yeah. the Premier League this week. Um, it was always going to end like this, wasn't it? Yeah, always. When Watford rebuffed our advances in October, whenever it was. Never rebuff us. It was only going one way. No, no buffing is to be done. Well, November we beat Watford. Give them a two goal start and beat them. There you go. That was the day. When we were down with Dreadful. Um, and Everton a approached, went and, and spoke to Watford's hierarchy after it and said we won them. And, and there was a bit of. For about a week, it looked like it just happened, didn't it? It looked as though he'd come to. It was, everyone was like, they're asking for a bit more, but he'll be the Everton. Mm. And, and he, it didn't. And, they, and fair play to them, they stood the ground. But I think the problem is, for me, in these kind of situations, the manager is probably the most important person at, in charge of the playing staff at that time and if that most important element of your playing staff turns around and says yeah I actually want to go there now well he was tapping his own players up I, well that's come out but what I'm saying is once your manager says yeah. I actually want to go manage them why would you make him stay well you've seen we've seen footballers haven't we Is like it? footballers don't need an excuse to down to us no, no. And um, they'll have played, some of their players have played for a lot of managers, yeah. one a season, now two a season. Um, so they're not asked because they just, the way they look at it, there's a high, at Watford there's high turnover players and managers, mm. the way it's run, it's, it is the way it is. Um, so they, they, they've got no loyalty to anyone. After at the end of the day, I know a few, I know Richarlison was a bit pissed off, he put his sad yeah, face. He wasn't happy, was he? Sign for us, you're left footed. Yeah. Uh, you do a job for us. Play left back. Um, play, can you play left back, son? Uh, I just, I, I just think, yeah, you're right. It's once, once that connection's being broke, like the manager has to go in and go, listen, lads, I'm managers. Mm. Come on, do it for the club. Do yeah. it for this. Do it for that. Do it for yourself. Um, I, I, I suppose. So, so if he suddenly is do, doesn't want to do it, then they're just going to go fuck off. But I suppose the other thing is, if he's not truly committed, that that impact on his day-to-day -day management mm -hmm. so like we knew that Koeman was like very much like a nine-to-five manager whereas Moyes was a fucking like half six till half twelve like yeah. last one first one in last one out manager and that showed in everything that went on at the football club yeah, the standards yeah. were set um, Martin's in his first season was like that um, st he set then he the got into Corrie with his bed yeah and that was it. he set the standard and and it all drips down from there, and I think mm -hmm. that I don't I don't know whether that's had an impact on it. You know whether you know whether um, he stopped doing the hard work, but the trust factor would have gone, wouldn't it, with the players and with the owners? If he really wanted to leave and he wasn't allowed to leave, then the trust factor's gone, and then he's probably seen someone come in and take that job, and then there might be resentment to them for not allowing them to take that step up. So. It's a funny situation because I don't know, I don't know where it's gonna go. There's a lot of Everton fans saying, "Well, if he was your number one, then go and get him, or get him in the summer." Mm. But then he's only tainted by the fact that he's been sacked by Watford. So if you're an, if I'm an Everton fan sitting here, I am, <laughs> um, and I'm thinking, "Well, hang on, when we wanted him, he was the next best thing. He was the you know Pochettino Mark two, and now I'm looking at him going." Well, you got you Hull got sacked on the air and you've been uh, got relegated on the air and you've been sacked from Watford because you've gone into free fall. So suddenly he's, he's tainted by that. So I don't know whether. So will you not touch him now in the summer? That's not my. That's not my. That's not. No, what I'm asking you as an Evertonian. But I, I, again, though, I can't. I I can't answer that question, and I couldn't really answer it when we wanted him because. I don't know how I don't know how a football fan can answer that question. I really don't. You can look at it and you can look at the results and go, "Well, he's done amazing there," but it doesn't mm. always work out like that, does it? You, you, what I want is that the people who 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 are appointing these people don't just think he's the next shiny thing, and they want him because they look at it the way he plays and style and feel like the place you've got at the club would suit the manager and the systems in place would suit that manager. And I just I, that's what I that's all I hope for. At Everton is that is that 
proper homework's been done because the guy they've brought in to replace him at Watford, I haven't really heard of him. He doesn't really stand out as a manager, mm. but apparently, it's, well, that Malaga, his track record was, was really good. He beat mm. all the big sides. He worked with no budget. Yeah, you know. But how's he going to adapt to working in the Premier League? You know, we've just seen Lambert going to Stoke, and everyone laughed at him. He won his first game. He used to say he's not the perfect fifth for Stoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It, it's really hard to say. We've seen people who failed in numerous jobs, but almost like the failures were experience. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I think sometimes, I think this is a problem, right? In all, in all, in everything, right? Sometimes, I think in football, it, it's it's a it's a weird one, right? And it's in. Do you know like in boxing, right? Not being beat really important, right? It's like having that zero. Mm. You know, it's all about the win column. And it's all about that. And then you look at something like UFC, and if they get beat, they get beat, and they go, "Well, I'm course I'm gonna get beat, aren't I? You're gonna get beat now and again." And the it seems like they go, "I was, I'll take, I'll, why did I get beat? I'll take the, I'll find out what the, my failures were, and I'll go and take that." And we don't really have that in football. Don't get me wrong, if if you get if the manager is losing his job again and again and again, but we don't really, I don't know if as a fan we look at it and go, "Well, you know what." He did a terrific job there, but everything was against him and he lost his job. And if he's learned from that, I think we need that a little bit of that in football. Who's to say Silver and playing devil's advocate, some, you know, has been had decent success. Even Hull, he nearly kept them up. It wasn't really his fault, mm. and he's took something from that. Mm. And let's say he goes comes from Watford, and he becomes the Everton manager. And he goes, you know what? I failed there for this reason, that reason, that reason. I'll take that into my next job. To get better, surely you've got to fail somewhere down mm. the line. You know, Mourinho, it hasn't been all smooth everywhere he's gone. <coughs> but it hasn't sort of like tainted him. Well, he got, he got, I suppose he got sacked at Chelsea, they were 15th. He was sacked twice. As champions. Yeah. Pep Guardiola, they couldn't win the Champions League at Bayern Munich. Now that would be seen, that could be seen as failure. A lot mm. of people did see it as failure. And then the next, and then, you know, Bayern Munich beginning of this season have, have really had really struggled so it's like Pep Guardiola comes to Mas, Man City and goes well why did I fail at Bayern Munich to win that trophy what do I need to do now to change that mm. what do I need to do <laughs> I won the league but that's not really I was always going to win the league I wanted the Champions League and I never did it what's made what has made that do you know what I mean and I think I think that's where you've got to be a little bit pragmatic people are going to lose games they're going to they're going to get sacked now and again you've it's whether that person can can come in, I, I, and that's not my decision. Do you know what I mean? That look at Kuman. Kuman has this sort of bounce factor. He's like you look at all his managing job, does really well for a club. So he goes to another club and doesn't do so well. So he'll, he'll go somewhere else, which is a little bit smaller, mm. and do really well, and then go somewhere else. And he's done that all his career. He's had a smaller job, which has led to a big job. That's been sacked, led to a smaller job, done really well, gone to a big, and he's done that all the way through his career. And it's like, has he learnt anything from the experiences? It doesn't seem like he has. Mm. Whereas other managers will. Pochettino's when he's a Spaniel, he did, he was did okay, but it was all, it was all, all building, mm. all building to go up, up. What have you learnt? What have you learnt? What have you learnt? What have you learnt? And I think you think we judge. Well, I think you keep saying we do, but. We judge managers the failure too too harshly because if you look at I think the likes of Klopp, Klopp was relegated and sacked from Mans when he was yeah. the manager. Um, other managers have been sacked. It, 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 I suppose the more it's not you're around, you get. Do you know where probably. it's? Do you know where it's more applicable in this country? It's more applicable for our lower league managers because what happens is our lower league managers do all that, bounce around go from what but then and they do you that because they never get a chance no one ever gives them a chance to step up we I mean, look at the sheffield wednesday manager uh, the ex sheffield wednesday manager now the uh swansea manager carvajal carvajal hmm. was doing an okay job at sheffield wednesday yeah, and yeah. then whatever happened happened and he ends up getting the sack and then he gets a job at swansea and everyone looked at it and gone now he took seven points out of his first five games hmm. right so he's done he's done okay so far yeah. right now we used to say his failings, at, his failings at Sheffield Wednesday haven't been the catalyst for what he's doing at Swansea. So you've got to sometimes look. Failure's not not a terrible thing. 
you know, if you if you lose and you fail, you pick yourself up and go, why did we fail? What did we do? And I think I think that that's happens in football. So so for so I can't necessarily sit here and go, well, silver would be terrible for us because of uh, of what's happened at Watford. It's just the circumstances. I suppose he done very very well at Estoril in Portugal. They they credited mm. like the development of their club on him. Mm. They basically all put on him. He won the league with it was Olympiacos. He won the Greek yeah. league with Olympiacos. Apparently, they were amazing yeah. with him. Allegedly, I know it's Greece and I'm probably they love Morales, so yeah. you've got to take that with a pinch of salt. So suppose he's got he's got the success to go with. Yeah. Obviously, the fail. I mean, he come into Hull. They had like fourteen players or something. Mm. He had about four points didn't he, at Christmas last year. They beat United, Liverpool, and yeah. you know we think he won six games or something like that, seven games and. Oh no, eight games he won, didn't he? And almost kept them up. Almost kept mm. them up. Ultimately, they went down. And then he got the job. And I think the Watford, they were playing fantastically well. And I saw them down at Chelsea. And they absolutely destroyed Chelsea. Yeah. They were 2-1 up. It should have been about 6-1. Mm. That Richarlison missed about three yeah. open goals. It would have been game over. And he ended up collapsing in the last yeah. 20 minutes. So I suppose that, to me, I, I just think what where Watford went wrong was... As much as it would have pissed them off, I don't see if a player comes to you as a manager and goes, I want to move to Everton. Yeah. Everton want me and I want to move. And you go, You're not moving mid season. Yeah. We want you till the end of the season. If Everton is still interested in the summer, we'll sell you. But you're not yeah. going, you're integral. He might sulk for three games, but then ultimately he's in the game, he's mm. playing the game, and it's about his reputation. I think if a manager mm. does it, because he's the, the players will, you're right, the players will start looking and going, it's just heart really in yeah. this, you know, and they've probably lost a couple of games that would that anyone could lose. And but then the players start going mm. and then his enthusiasm, like but you also, said, might have dropped a bit. But also the Wofford And the one he's got to, the, about you know, nine players out There will be the a drop off, well. there will be you know look at look at like Bailey. Bailey no, Christmas mm. are oh, going for the top four. Yeah. They're in eight now. And they might they might drop a little bit lower. Mm. It happens, you know, Huddersfield had a great start. Brighton had a terrible start, then bounced up, and then mm. it happens. They're not, they're not they're, you know, it, it, it's hard to keep the momentum in the Premier League unless you've got the, you know, the a, a real good squad. So it happens. I just think that I maybe and the other thing about it is, right? Maybe he looks at it and goes, "I've got a way of playing footy, right?" And I'm trying my best at doing it, and I just don't have good enough players. Mm. So I mean, look at look at Martinez, right? Martinez. Is almost like the higher he goes up and the better players he gets to work with, the more his philosophies are gonna work. Mm. Right? And that that sometimes happens. I mean look at the guy who's in charge of Barcelona. Fucking pissing the league and he was like well, No one knew who he really was. He was a good manager, but he wasn't like a standout in a big shiny mm. wasn't in a big shiny career or anything. And you look at so you just he might he might get the Everton job. And, if, and he goes, you know, I've got better players to work with now. And bigger budget. You know, my, my philosophies are going to work sound here. You know, I, I, I like to attack, I also like to defend. Unfortunately, we didn't have the um, the squad or the depth of squad for it to work. It did at first, mm. but then we started. And the few players weren't yeah. learning the lessons and all those things. And that's... They're the things I'd rather you gauge a manager on rather than going, ooh, he's the new shiny thing. Mm. And that's that's the only thing with silver. That's that's the because all his critics now will go. Oh, you see, you failed. But you know, we'll wait. We'll wait and see. I mean, is he? I suppose I'm going to make this about Evan. But just while he's on it, just because we're talking about him, is he the is he the type of say you were looking for like an e-fit to be an Everton manager? He's forty, so he's young. Yeah. He obviously hungry, wants to do well. Is he the type of manager you would like to see the club employ if he's got that, that I want, plan and yeah, that burning desire? I want a to manager in. to come in, and I'd want this at any club, that has got a philosophy that he's... That, that, I'm, I might contradict myself here with Martinez, but a philosophy that he sticks to and the, the club adhere to and go and buy players on that. And the, But the philosophy has to be solid. Mm. It has to be. It has to be built on solid foundations where did Martinez it felt like it was built on sand because he didn't bother to get the defence sorted mm. and he wouldn't sort the goalie out so it was always built on sand and that was our biggest problem with it yeah, yeah. it was it was it was 
you could see what the ethos was and you knew with better players but and he want and he wanted John Stones he type players but to have John Stones he type players uh, Man City don't have two John Stones they have one mm. and a solid centre back next to him yeah. whereas he was like well I'm going to have John Stones and then some our ass next to him didn't quite work so that's what you want you want to you want an ethos that works that you can see where it's going and there will be ups and downs of course mm. they will but you're going in the same direction and that's all that's all I would want as a, as a football fan that's all I do want as a football fan is a long term goal that I, like my, it's it's sad because Moise sort of had a long term thing yeah well no he didn't he was just a long term manager but I don't well, know he, he was never he never had the funds exactly that's what I'm really. saying the club couldn't back him it was hand to mouth every year so even though he was a long term manager he didn't have a long term goal because it's, in fact it was like it's, he had a three year cycle yeah because of because of play recruitment so I would just like to see that Everton or any club would bring in a long term manager who the ethos is there the club back it they're all going in the right direction they buy players then they buy better players and better players to play that way and again maybe that's where Martinez fell apart maybe if Martinez maybe if Machiri had come in a year, in a year earlier with Martinez we would, we'd be still sitting here with Martinez and we'd be challenging for the top four you don't know those things do you it's just that it seemed like Machiri had made his mind up about Martinez because Martinez had got himself basically put him gone into a cul-de-sac hadn't he effectively towards mm -hmm. the end um, and and I, that's all I'd hope for as a football fan have, have a philosophy stick to it the club back it and you're going in the same direction but obviously it all comes from the eth ethos it has to be the right one very interesting it's going to be interesting to see it where is. he ends up it because is. he might just take a few months off and it'll be interesting to know whether Everton are going to have any kind of dialogue with him and say mm. we're interested in you in the summer or whether it's a case of yeah we've got we've, we've got some holidays now and, and that's what we're going with so because I'm quite sure there'll be a few there will be a few uh, a few clubs who will take him in the Premier League I mean of course they will you're looking now it's what we're coming towards the end of January you're looking at a lot of those teams have, have changed managers who are near the bottom yeah so it's, it's whether another Premier League manager would be sacked. No, I don't think Silver that. will get another job this year. I think he'll go away. Wait till the summer. I think he'll wait till the summer and, and maybe get in dialogue. I'm, listen, I'm sure there'll be dialogue between him and Fahad Mishiri. In other words, do you, do you still have aspirations for this man to be Everton manager? Yes or no? No, sound. We'll move on. Fair enough. Well, that's what you'd expect, wouldn't you? Well, that's what you'd hope. You'd expect to be dialogue, even if it was from Shady picking up the phone and listen, dead sorry you got the sack and just wanna let you know that um, we we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna pursue our interest in you mm. because because things have changed and we've yeah. put all our Excellent. eggs in another bowl. So and that, and as and I, and to be fair, that's what you'd expect off you know, he'd probably be like that's the least I expect because basically he's been sacked because of Evan. Mm. That'd be the right thing to do. Fine. I'm going to read me Pat Nevin book. Your Pat Nevin book that was there and now it isn't. That's enough for this. Thanks for watching. Oh, See you Mike next Milligan. week. Monoplayer. See you next week on the Fussy Show.